Bundy's final arrest and conviction stemming from his time in North Florida. The theft of a Volkswagen Beetle right off the streets of Tallahassee, a crime that eventually led to his capture. The owner of that vehicle is still living here in the Big Bend. Our Katie Kaplan met up with him this afternoon and joins us with more. What did he have to say, Katie? Well, Ben Abbey, Rip Garzin Rick Garzaniti says it was just a normal night with family that eventually led to the capture of someone who had been terrorizing Tallahassee. Rick Garzaniti has seen a lot. It's just, it's just a chapter in my life. One particular part includes his first car, a used orange VW Super Beetle. This picture taken moments after he purchased it. My mother had written on the back, you know, Rick's car, you know, a April 74. And also a brush with a notorious serial killer. I guess I just, I, what I did is I did humanity a service by getting Ted off the street. Married then with a toddler at home, Garzaniti had left the car parked on a Tallahassee side street. The keys still inside. He then got distracted. As we were leaving, the Burt Reynolds movie came on the ABC Sunday night movie it's called Gator. And when he returned, it was gone. I kept walking and, it went, I, <laughs> and finally it hit me. No matter how close you get to that parking space, your car is not going to be there. That was Sunday. By Wednesday, he got a call at work. Bundy had been arrested in it. Roughly eight weeks later, he picked it up from the impound. It was just covered with this black dust. Coated in fingerprint dust, missing a back seat, and a three-inch hole cut out of the upholstery. Later, in an interview with detectives... They were showing me pictures like bicycle seats and, uh, you know, tires, and, and I said, no, that's not mine. There was even a couple different license plates in there. Police finding his daughter's blanket but with new stains. I, I had a feeling that, you know, that Kimberly Leach might have been in my car and maybe the blanket was part of it. Garzaniti says he drove it for a few months, thought about listing it in the National Enquirer, but sold it to a man in Orlando right for 1300 bucks, not wanting to profit off the bad energy attached. And Garzaniti says he was actually called to testify in Kimberly Leach's murder trial. Since Bundy represented himself, he says he met the killer face to face several times. Reporting live in the studio, Katie Kaplan, WCTV Eyewitness News. Oof, uh, Katie, uh, uh, thank you. I can't imagine what it was like to mm -hmm. even just sit in that car mm -hmm. and know what could have happened in there. Mm, man, some unbelievable stuff.